Welcome back to my latest video. This time, the Astro's getting a bit of love. The Code 82 has come on again. It had an oil change about a year ago, which is uh, one of my videos. This time I'm going to give it a full service. I've been to a dealer, got all parts, engine oil, oil filler, air filler, cabin filler, and a set of spark plugs. It doesn't need a fuel filter because it's a built into the fuel pump which is situated in the tank so that's one thing less to worry about. So without any further ado I'll uh, get on, I just need to get me my tools out and get my overalls and my gloves on and I'll be ready to start. And I've run the car about because I went to the local dealer to get the bit so it's warmed up. But I'm going to put the wheel ramps down here. So by the time I've got all my tools out, it'll look cool down enough to be able to drain the oil. Because it's best to drain it warm. You don't want to do it immediately after stopping the engine, just give it 10 minutes or so to let it just cool down a bit. Enough so it doesn't scald it when you're draining the oil. So I'll see you in a sec. One problem I've noticed straight away is a clicking sound whenever I open this door. And it's because this check strap is loose. I'll just move the camera, then you can see it. You can hear it when I ever open. See it? There we go. And you can see it. You can see it moving. So I just put the camera back down. And the fix for this is just to tighten it up. It's a 10mm socket, so I'll just get it tightened up. No. For some reason, it just keeps working loose. I've done it before. Just snug it up a bit. And that should fix that. So I'm going to move the camera back again. There we go. So that's one job sorted. That one in part of the service. Right now to get on with the service itself. Right, before I drain the oil, I'll just take this oil cap off. And the oil, the oil will drain out a bit better. And get underneath and undo the sump plug. Right now to drain the oil, how the sump, I've got my tools I need. Uh, I'm using my trusty washing up bowl this time because when I did the oil change on the Citroen I used a proper proper drain pan but I don't think it was much copper cheap washing up bowl from as they does the job, job just as well if not better just uh, well that wasn't too bad that cracked off easily but we're done I did it 12 months ago so it's all right so I'll just get Up and let it drain. Mm, that's what it looks like after 12 months. I don't know how many miles I'd have to check on me on my video. Hopefully I shouldn't make too much mess this time round. And we just leave that to drain. Something but not, better not lose that. Keep that somewhere safe. There. And you've seen oil change before, so I won't film the whole thing, I'll just uh, cut it short. Right, I think I'll do the oil filter next. So I've got my, my genuine Vauxhall one there, there's a the part number. For reference, I don't know the exact engine cuff, this all knows it's a 1.4 petrol and the car's 2014. If anyone needs the engine code, I'll look it up in handbook. But with, with Vauxhall's, they were usually stamped on block, but I've had a quick look and I can't see it. So I'll just uh, pull that out, just let it, let it drip off. And I had a few comments in, in my la in the last video about me dripping all but it's not going to hurt. I just uh, get, pull that off. And I better not forget to remove the O-ring. Just grab a screwdriver. And 
that's the old o-ring off pop that there get my new my new Vauxhall oil filter still making a mess I'm going to clean this engine cover anyway because it looks a bit, a bit mucky so just get worse than get that off So there's, there's a new filter with the with the O-ring. So we'll check these, these these will only fit on one way. So that's the new oil filter on. Right in there, the new O-ring. Uh, top tip. Smear the O-ring in engine oil. You can even use old engine oil for this because it'll just help it to seal better. Stop any leaks. So I'll just pop the new O-ring on, like so. Put that back in. Get it started on threads. Do it by hand. Get it started on threads, and then tighten it up with the ratchet. And then these are plastic, so you don't want to do it up too tight. Just nip it up a bit, and that's. The oil filter done. Right, next up we're doing the air filter. It's just a few screws round here. I'll just undo them. And let's grab the new air filter. And there we go, show you the part number. The old on the right and the new one on the left. It doesn't look too bad on the old one, but it needs doing so. Get it replaced. Yeah, it only goes one way. I had it right first time. So just to uh, end it here, and that's the uh, air filter done. Next, it's time to do the spark plugs. Now, on this car, you know, to access the spark plugs, you just lift this up. It just pops off. I can tell I haven't been weak bits today. There, and it swings up, and I can access the coil pack, which needs to be removed to get to the spark plugs. And these are these are the genuine ones. You notice it'll say Opal on it because uh, for those that don't know, you know Vauxhall and Opal were part of General Motors, so Vauxhall Vauxhalls uh, are just Opals in the UK. Bit of the uh, you know the the brand platform sharing. You see it with other makes like Volkswagen and such like. Anyway, better get on. Throw my spectacles around and. Get this coil pack removed. Um, lift it out. That out the way, to... <coughs> right, we should get that out in one piece. Get that back into the coil pack. Now, 
get the spark plugs out. I'll just show you one. I'm not going to bore you with all four spark plugs. So you can get down. Now I need another extension. There's the old plug. Actually, oops, I've dropped it. Yeah, I mean, look at the condition of it. Don't look too bad. And that's a genuine one. Probably from when car were built, but yeah, it's looking good. Right, I'll get the rest of these done and button everything up. And I'll see you in just a moment. There's just a couple of things I'd like to uh, point out. Uh, when you put the new plugs in, you just need to start them on thread by hand. That way they don't get cross-threaded because it's a uh, cylinder. It's only aluminium alloy. And um, for the same reason, when you tighten them up, just just nip them up. You don't have to tighten them mega tight. Yeah, and you don't be stripping threads in. Ed. It's aluminium alloy. It's just more just extra work you don't need to do if you take a bit of time. Just be a bit careful with it. That's it. And that's and then that's the uh, spark plugs done. So I just finished tightening these up. I'll see you in a sec. All right, this time I'm going to add the oil. Um, typically, it started raining. Typical British weather. Uh, this is the oil I'm going to be using. The genuine GM stuff. Don't buy it. And a couple of litres and then just keep checking the dipstick. Oops. Let's just spill some daughter. Right, that's a couple of litres added. I'll clean up my mess. Down the exhaust manifold heat shield. Right, pull the bit stick. Let's see where we are. Nope, we're nowhere near. We'll just keep adding a bit more. I don't know the exact capacity of this engine, it'll, it'll be all in handbook. adding oil you always uh, add a couple of litres and add a bit keep checking it and oh no nothing there but remember too much oil is just as bad as not enough oil keep on checking it just have a three litres in there And oh we're just just below the minimum. So I'll just add a bit more just to allow the oil being taken up in the filter housing. Alright, and we've uh, just over three and a half litres in there. Oh and before anyone asks, yes I did put this sub plug back on. So yes, I did that earlier on, so don't worry, there's going to be a big puddle of oil on, on the floor. Right, yeah, um, we're looking good. So that's the uh, fresh oil added. Right, last but not least uh, is the pollen filter. Now I had to uh, go on the internet to find out. Um, it's pretty much the same as it is on my Mac 4 Astro. You've got one, two three seven mil bolts 
So they just come out and you can get the glove box off and you can get to a uh, pollen filter housing which will be behind there. So I'll get this off first and I'll show you. There's one more here as well and this trim panel had to come off so I could get to it. So I'll get that off and then we can get this glove box off. Right, with the glove box out of the way, you can see where the pollen filter housing is. It's just a couple of clips, one on either side. Open it up and there's the old pollen filter. Uh, I don't know we pull this out. Uh, we'll get it out somehow. There we go. Oh, it looks like man supply Vauxhall anyway. I'll show you the... Uh, the old filler, I've got the new one here, genuine Vauxhall part. And let's see, arrows, arrows pointing down for the airflow, so I'll just uh, set, set this camera down. Just uh, set you down, then you can try not. There, let's get the, get the new one fitted. That's it, it's just, it's just like my Mark IV Astra. So, yep, airflow, arrow pointing down for airflow. Slot it in. And then just button everything back up and that's the pollen filter done. Simples. And you saw, saw how dirty that one was, you should change them every 12 months regardless. Yeah, it'll improve the quality of the air coming into the interior. Anyway, I'll catch you later on in just a sec. Right, final job I want to do is give this engine cover a clean. And what I'll do is I'll just use some baby wipes and some uh, paper napkins, which I got from McDonald's. I always grab a few when I'm at Mackey D's. Just, just give it a wipe. Yeah. Wiped out, and I used to use the cheapest baby wipes. You don't want these per fancy perfume ones, just the just the basic ones will do the job. They'll do the job, get, get clean. So you can go mad with baby wipes, just it all down. It's a bit more presentable. <sighs> now that should do it and just go get a bit of a napkin, just dry it off. And already it's looking better. So the next thing to do is to reset that cord and start the engine. Right now what we've got to do is got to reset the cord 82 which is the, the oil change warning. Uh, fortunately there was a video on YouTube but I'll just go through it here anyway so I turn the ignition on and there we go it comes up and we press the menu button. Yeah, it's always a low tire load. There's the oil one, so just reset that. Back to 100%. So we just turn the ignition off, right, turn it back on again. And the code is gone. So I'll just and it's on 100% is the the oil so that's done so what we'll do is uh, just to make sure we're good I'll fire the engine up uh, I'll put it in reverse as well as having a brake on just just a belt and braces approach when you're on wheel ramps and but cars it's just like downhill incline anyway so it should be all right so knock it out of gear uh, need to on these astrogy you need to put your foot in the clutch 
and just wait for that oil light to go out yep oil lights out so we good just reverse it carefully reverse it off the ramps and yet we're sounding good well that wraps up the service on this Astra we're all done and dusted but my work is not done uh, I've got to work on the Citroen over there got to put a drive shaft in uh, if you remember in the previous video you could hear the clicking it was a CV joint that had gone so it's either fit a new CV joint or replace the drive shaft so I decided I'll replace the drive shaft it job will be easy and try to mess around swapping a CV joint over I've uh, got a second hand one, in, a good one, used one off eBay, cheapest option, and I'll see, you'll see that in a future video. Anyway, thanks for watching, you know what to do, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.